What's going on, fellow aviators? Random at 787 here. So we actually have a update regarding Flight Simulator 2024, and I can tell you guys it's good news. So for those of you who have been worried about a few things, some of the big things like uh, modding and stuff like that, you can take a deep breath, or at least as far as marketplace is concerned. So uh, Microsoft released a statement on, and it's on their website. It's right here, guys. Uh, right here on the Flight Simulator website. It's directly from them. So it says here, uh, today's trailer was a short teaser to introduce Flight Simulator 24, yada, yada, yada. Um, they'll be sharing more information in the coming months. And this, I actually appreciate this little bit right here. We have been monitoring your feedback to the chair very closely and apologize for our delayed communications. We'd like to take the opportunity to address some of the most common questions we've seen. So right there, I can tell you, uh, Zillow and Microsoft, uh, they're definitely listening to us and they know we're concerned uh, about a lot of things. Um, so here's the first one. And this was pretty much confirmed yesterday, but I guess they wanna make it uh, even more abundantly clear. This is a standalone sequel, guys. This is not going to be an update um, or some kind of, um, you know, expansion pack or anything like that. This is a brand new game. Um, I know some people are going to be a little, you know, ticked off about that. But here, here's one thing that I actually think is cool, but this should be a given, but I'm glad it's here anyway. Uh, current aircraft and airports that are in Flight Simulator 2020, as well as virtually all marketplace add-ons, will be supported in flight simulator 2024 so that's good they're not going to be taking anything out they're going to keep the current aircraft that they got and that they're just going to move it over so that's good news uh another one what kind of support uh can flight simulator uh 2020 players expect to see once 2024 is released we will continue to deliver our flight simulator 2020 roadmap which has content ranging from aircraft and avionics sim updates world update city yada 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 but they don't say that they're committed to that, you know, 10 year plan. So I'm a little um, concerned about that. I don't know if they're going to eventually just slowly stop uh, pumping out updates or they're going to be doing it less frequently. So uh, well, we'll, we'll have to wait for more information on that to see how dedicated they really are to FS 2020. Uh, so for all purchases, users are made in the marketplace their transferable to flight simmer so that's at least one of the biggest questions out of the way and i'm glad that they addressed this so quickly because uh flight simming depending on how much you're into it can be a very very expensive hobby uh so this is probably gonna um make people a, a lot happier uh because there, there's there's been some disdain in the community a lot of there's a couple people people you'd be surprised that aren't actually happy about this uh, game being announced and i understand where they're coming from i do i'm sort of in the middle as you guys uh saw my discussions video the other day i'm kind of in the middle on this whole situation uh so they say here with very few exceptions which i i i, I guess makes sense not everything is going to work virtually all add-ons that work in flight similar 2020 Today will function in FS 2024. Add-ons that were purchased from the in simulator marketplace will not need to be repurchased in Flight Simulator 2024. Already, um, they're doing things right. So, and like I said, I could probably see myself paying 60 bucks for this, knowing that I can take all my content, bring it over, and I got a whole bunch of new stuff to play with. I, I could maybe justify $60, but I'm curious, what are they gonna be doing if they try to make you know deluxe versions again you know like 120 dollars like i don't know man that that would be steep so i mean it depends on what they give you uh so anyway that's really all i got for the update today but this is uh very good news uh, for flight simulator 2024 and i believe there's going to be more info tomorrow possibly and we might hear some more at flight sim expo later this month so i'm pretty sure more news is going to be coming about this game and i'm glad that azoba microsoft are you know addressing uh the feedback we have uh to the community i'm glad that they're still engaged with us and are trying to you know calm us down a little bit not to really panic so it's it, it, it this is good it seemed but i still want to see what mod support is going to be is going to be like is it still going to be mod friendly I, I would like to assume it will be because flight simmer really can't survive without the modding community that's one of the reasons why it's 
stayed relevant for so long i know you can just update the game nowadays but that only gets you so far and i feel like uh, modding is something that just you, you just can't get rid of especially with the flight sim community anyways guys that's gonna do it for uh, my whole take on this i'd like to know what your thoughts are on this whole situation in the comments below and i will catch you guys all in the next video peace out and happy flying